good day. Welcome to Atlantic County Outdoors. We're here today. It's March 29th, and it's uh, about quarter to two. Beautiful sunny day. It was uh, freezing last night, which is really, really good for the maple syrup. For those of you aren't aware, Lanark County is, I think, one of the biggest producers of maple syrup in Ontario. And uh, we're here in Lanark Highlands today, and what we're going to do is show you a inexpensive way of tapping trees and collecting sap. We call it the sap suckers of Lanark Highlands. We're going to collect some sap and show you an inexpensive way to do it. And uh, we'll do a part two and show you what we do with the sap when we're done. I'm here with David, my good friend. Uh, he's filming today and he's going to show the, uh, help show the process of how we actually tap trees and uh, pull, pull the sap, suck the sap out of the maple trees um, in Lanark County. So what I'm going to show you here now is in the springtime, summertime, when there's actually leaves on the trees, uh, I came and I marked trees with caution tape that had ma uh, maple leaves so I could identify the maple trees. So I've marked them and I picked this one. Trees typically have to be between 10 to 12 inches to start drawing some sap on them. Bigger ones, you can actually put multiple taps on them. Uh, but this one's big enough to put a tap on it and uh, we'll show you the process. So I'm going to grab my drill, my handy drill, and I've got a tap, as you can see, very, very simple tap, 49 cents at Canadian Tire. I've got my drill, I think it's a, uh, I can't remember, remember what the, the, the size of the drill bit is, David? That's a 3 8 inch. 3 8 inch drill bit. Pick an area about mid, you know, mid chest, and what you want to do is you want to drill upward, and you'll see I'm going to start drilling into the tree. I'm going to put a probably about three inches into the tree. You want to wind it, widen it out a little bit when that when that tap goes in. You want to have room to make sure it goes in okay. So that's it. We drill the hole. Dave's going to get a picture of that. You can see there's sap dripping from it already. As soon as we pop that hole, you should be able to see the sap coming out. So it's a great day because the temperature, like I say, was was uh, below freezing last night. And that's a key is when the temperature is below freezing, the next day the sap will run. So you want to find days when it's freezing at night and above zero during the day, and you'll see the sap will run like crazy. So you just position your tap like so and take your hammer, tap it in. That's why they call it tapping. And you've got a nice little spot where the sap's going to run out into the tap. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my hosing, my tubing. Again, you can pick this up at Canadian Tire, 100 feet for 19 bucks. Very cheap. If you look carefully, you can see the sap's actually coming right out of the tap right now. And Dave is going to close, close up on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just insert that tube into the, into the spout. Get some good pressure there. Hold on to the spout because they're plastic and they may break. And you can see we've got it attached there and the sap is already running. Now, what I do is I take a five gallon bucket, position it. The good thing to do is actually dig a spot in the snow so that your bucket stays nice and cold because sap will spoil. So basically put your bucket in the, in the snow, pack some snow around it so that the bucket stays nice and cold and then simply put the tube in the bucket. The other way is you take your drill and you can just drill a hole in the side of the bucket and insert the tube. So we're going to go and set up some buckets and some tubing and some taps and then we're going to show you the final product. But that's, that's as simple as it gets. You buy some, uh, some tubing, a couple of buckets, some taps, get yourself a cordless drill and uh, you're already tapping, uh, tapping into the trees. So back to you shortly and we'll show you some, uh, some final results after we tap the trees. All right, we're back. Lanark County Outdoors. David and I are celebrating that we uh, got our trees tapped. Perth Brewery, Honey Lager, and 
121. 121. 121. There you go. Uh, let me show you what we've done. Here is a setup that we just finished. We've uh, we've tapped the uh, four trees and a cluster, and you can see that the the uh, trees were marked, and you can see the tubes running down from the trees. Uh, I drilled holes in the side of the bucket, and um, you can see that the uh, the taps and the sap is running. So uh, that's the setup. Very very simple, as I said. Uh, we've we've basically tapped two three clusters of uh, of trees, and now we wait for the sap to run, and then uh, and then use it to make uh, maple syrup, I guess, uh, wine, or maybe beer. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. All right, so we're back, and uh, we set the uh, bucket up uh, a few days ago. Uh, this particular setup, and then you can see inside we actually have a bucket full of sap. Now, instead of disconnecting everything and taking the bucket away, because we're going to need it, uh, what we're going to do is disconnect a couple of tubes. Just pop the tubes out. And take the bucket that we brought with us and lift this bucket up. So we empty that sap into... And you can see we got a lot of it there. You can actually see there's a big chunk of ice. We're going to keep that ice and uh, keep the sap cool. Put that bucket back down again. Put the tubes back in it. Insert these tubes back in, just like so. And get ready for the next run of sap. Put your top, top back on it again. Snap it down just in case the wind blows it out. Leave a little bit open. And there we go. We got a bucket full of sap. Weighs a ton. But you can see very easily how we can collect sap in uh, Lander County Highlands. So with that, we're going to go do something with this sap now. And we'll get back to you with part two. Thanks again for joining Lander County Outdoors in our sap-sucking adventures in Lanark Highland.